Alrighty, welcome to the stream. Well, it's been quite a few weeks. As, uh, as some of you know, I've been up north for the last five weeks. So I wasn't able to stream, but I was able to play on the server a little bit and uh, work on some stuff. But uh, I think to start this stream off today, we're just gonna like, you know, uh, fly around spawn and just kind of take a look at everything that is uh, that has happened over the last five weeks. So, uh, first thing is we got Kurt's Pyramid. I'm not sure when this uh, was finished, but I mean, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we head inside. I don't, I don't think you would mind me going inside here, but I mean, we'll. Yeah. Yeah, you got like storage room. I mean, I don't want to go in here too far because this is his base, but I mean, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Um, let's go over. Here we go. Let's go over here. We got um, some shops around here. We got the Eiffel Tower getting built around here. And um, yeah. So. I mean, it's pretty much everything here. We got some uh, UFO build right here. We got a volcano build there. So yeah, there's quite a few builds that popped up over the week, over the weeks that I was up north. So, um, what we're going to be doing on, or one of the things we're going to be doing on stream tonight is uh, I want to finish up this railway that goes down over to the villager breeder. Or the villager trading hall, I should say. So yeah, as you can see, the plan is is we want to uh, cover this up in copper blocks. Which uh, yeah, we have a, we've been doing a lot of mining lately, getting a bunch of copper, and I actually got a full shulker box of it right here. And we're going to uh, start out with that and just start um, looking over here. Oh, I can look at your base. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll go back and look at it later. Yeah, so I'm gonna cover all this up in copper, and uh, I don't foresee that taking too long. And then once we're done with that, um, we're gonna I'm gonna build another uh, section of the railway going out towards the taiga biome because I do have a build that I'm planning on doing out there, um, which we may or may not start on stream tonight. So, yep, that's the plan there. So yeah, and uh, on the way back over here, I'll actually go inside of Kurt's Pyramid and just kind of take a look around inside. It's actually pretty cool. I've been in there a couple of times. So, yeah. So, as far as the railway goes, I'm planning on extending it out this way from here and then bringing it out that way towards the taiga biome that's over there. I have to be careful of where I put it because there's somebody's base here. I don't want to impede on that, but if you start it from right around here, probably it should be fine. And we're just going to go straight out that way to that to this little uh, mountain right there. So we'll take a look inside of here. It's actually pretty cool. Alright, storage room. And we've got. Looks like we got some smelters in here. Like I said, been in here quite a few times. And then if we go down into here, we've got a. Uh, looks like the bedroom. And then we have like two farms. This is actually really cool in here because it kind of resembles the Nether Hub, kind of. But yeah, I like the the ice highways uh, with boats. It actually it actually looks like what the inside of an actual pyramid would look like because it kind of looks like a labyrinth and. I would think that, like, you know, pyramids, like the Egyptian pyramids, probably have all these secret passageways and uh, hallways and corridors and all that kind of stuff, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, as you can see on the inside here, we got quite a few different farms and stuff. Yeah, he's actually pretty pretty good at redstone farms, so I'll give him that. Wow. That's pretty... Uh, yeah, this, this is complicated. I, I don't know if I could build something like that, but... <laughs> wow. So, we head back this way, um, over here, all 
right, we're going to sleep real quick. Just so I can uh, make it daytime because working on a railway when it's dark out, kind of a nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah. somebody already beat me to it. Well, we got two people sleeping, so that works. Alright, so, I'm going to start out by placing the copper blocks out this way. So, right over here. Got some copper blocks. Right, yeah, we have a full shulker. We have actually have a, a couple shulkers of copper blocks. We, 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 we've done a lot of mining. <laughs> so. Yeah. This is basically what I want to do. And uh, this is going to look like the. Um, what I want. Eventually it's, it should oxidize. As you can see like right here it's starting to oxidize already. And this will actually look really cool. Once it's fully oxidized. That's part of the reason why we wanted to use copper. Just so it can like show age. So yeah, it's pr this is going to be your railway. I mean, like I said, the railway uh, in modern Minecraft is uh, kind of useless, other than like um, transporting villagers and maybe items and stuff using minecart chests and stuff. But main reason why I'm building it is the looks. It it looks cool. I mean, we all build stuff in Minecraft because well, it looks cool. So. is actually one of those blocks that is actually somewhat easy to mine just because of how common it is and oh, oh hi yeah the shulker box is over there if you want to help me with this <laughs> grab it real quick it is pretty far away There we go. Yeah, the, the stream is a little bit delayed, so it might, it might be kind of hard to... <laughs> yeah, works pretty good. Yeah, like I, like I was saying, uh, Copper is actually one of those blocks that's somewhat easy to mine just because of how common it is and that you can fortune it and get like 20 pieces of raw copper per ore, basically. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I got one. I got one. Doesn't have as much durability on it, but I mean... <laughs> all good. <laughs> yes, I spelt durability wrong. My keyboard... I need to get a new keyboard. Um, the keys on this thing are like stick out so far and it's like super noisy when I type. I, I, should, just, I should just get a new keyboard. <laughs> I mean, I had this one since 2018, so I, yeah, I think it's about time I get a new one. <laughs> skill issue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that's a skill issue. 
shulker box. I think it's over here. Oh yeah. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, we may or may not have this shulker box by itself. We may or may not be enough copper to finish all the way to the villager breeder, but like I said, we have plenty more, so that shouldn't be an issue. I didn't want to do a mining stream this time because that's what I did last time, so... Yeah, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna go way back over here and start over here. This is, um, yeah, so this is basically the Minecraft server in its current state. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, the server was actually, uh, didn't have as many players on this week, and I, sus I suspect that to be due to some bug with a uh, Windows 10, or Windows in general, with the, uh, apparently the update was locked on Windows devices, or what, I think it was like 1.20.70 or something, you couldn't download it until yesterday, so, uh, the server updated 1.20.70 last week, but, uh, Anybody playing on Windows could not play on the server because they were still on the older version. But, to my understanding, that has now been fixed, so... And yeah, then we, and then just today we had like 10 people online, so... It seems as if it was fixed. And then I was thought, I thought like, yeah, I'm gonna do a little stream tonight just because, uh... I haven't done one in five weeks, I was up north, so... Yeah, it's, it's nice just to, like, chill out, play some Minecraft. I mean, I've been on Minecraft pretty much all day today, so... You know how that goes. What's the building right here? Um, I'm, I was wondering the same thing. I'm not sure what this is. Or there's no signs or anything. Um, yeah. I have no clue what this is. <laughs> I mean... It's definitely bigger than it was the last time I seen it, so there is somebody actively working on it. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Yeah, same here. I mean, I know some somebody was talking about that, but I, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't exactly, I, I kind of forgot who was building it, but it's definitely bigger than it was before. So, yeah. Yeah. 
the sound of copper, like just placing copper and walking on it is like so satisfying. I don't know what is satisfying about it, it is just satisfying. shulker box over here. Yeah, we, uh, we are, we are, uh, Delta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm gonna use the last bit of the copper here. There's not a whole lot left, so... <laughs> Yeah, it actually does sound like a railway when you hit it. It's pretty cool. What, though it is really nice to have a helper helping me work on this because if I were doing it by myself it would probably take a lot longer but yeah as you can see as far as copper placing goes we are over halfway done already so that's a dub or a W a win <laughs> whatever <laughs> so There might be some more in here. I'll grab the last. Uh, here we go. <laughs> ah, there we go. More copper. We got some mobs spawning. I'm gonna go uh, sleep real quick. I'm just gonna go use the villager breeder over here. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you guys could tell, but I did get a new mic the other day. So I don't. Not sure if you can uh, uh, tell that or you can hear any kind of difference in the in, in the sound or not. There's a door missing. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a... Yeah, well, long story short, I went up north, and I left my microphone up north, so I had to go buy a new one. But I bought a better... I, I bought a better one, so... <laughs> At least I think I bought a better one. I mean, I mean... I tested it out. It does sound a little bit better, but I mean, not sure if you guys can tell or not. much better oh nice so the microphone that I bought is is better cool good to know yeah yeah I mean me doing this usually doing the live streams brings more players into the server but it was actually really weird today because I think I whitelisted like probably not just today I mean yesterday too I whitelisted at least four or five players and we had like ten people on today so 
Uh, I mean, there, there's a couple theories for that. Um, one, the Windows bug was fixed. And uh, two, there is a possibility that somebody joined that had like a lot of friends on Xbox Live. So when they joined, all their friends saw the world and then they wanted to join too. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that, that's a possibility too. that I can already see the end. Like I said, this railway, or this, this straight stretch of railway spans over a thousand blocks. I, I feel like um, the dark oak, just collecting all of the dark oak was probably just as hard as collecting all of the copper. Because, yeah, I uh, dismantled an entire dark oak biome, and now that dark oak biome is completely depleted. Good, th good news, though, is that on the other side of the swamp biome, there is an entirely new dark oak biome that is absolutely huge. So, I don't think we're going to be running out of dark oak anytime soon. <laughs> but, yeah, this should definitely be enough copper to finish this part over here. exactly sure I'm, 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 I'm guessing I could just do this. <laughs> this is kind of the only spot on the entire railway where I have like a down slope. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this for now. We can always change it later but I, I think this looks all right so we'll probably keep this. Here we go. Yeah, that will just like have it end down here that they could just walk over to the breeder. Yeah, perfect. So now that we got uh, most of this, I think the shulker box is over here. I'm gonna just grab it real quick. Uh, oh, I got some copper. I still have a couple stacks of copper. I'll probably I'll use that when I. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'll just throw that in there for now. And uh, here, I'll take that for now. Thank you. Perfect. Well, now I'm going to head over to the second dark oak biome and um, chop down some trees some uh, in the roof forest biome to get some dark oak. And then I'm going to start 
building the railway out towards the taiga biome. Because I am planning on doing a, a somewhat mega build out there. I mean, it's literally just going to be a hotel. I mean, I build a hotel pretty much every season. So, I just haven't gotten around to it yet this season. Just because I had so many other projects going on. But I think now is a good time to like at least, you know, get something started with the hotel. I mean, I kind of got an area planned out. And I kind of dug it out a little bit just to... Uh, yeah. All right, I was gonna throw some of this stuff in there for now, and then we are going to go fill our inventory with dark oak. So I think this dark oak biome is pretty much depleted. I mean, there is some over here yet, but I mean, I got a lot of it from over at this area here. Yeah, we could start over here. It's like, it's not completely depleted. We still have some, but I mean. <laughs> well, like last season though, where like the entire spawn was dark oak. Pretty good. goes to the hotel in the spruce biome. If anybody, if any of you are uh, watching the stream and you guys want to join the server, the Discord for the server is in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, you guys can join the Discord and uh, just submit your gamer tag in the gamer tag channel, and I'll add you to the server. 
It's as simple as that. Basically, yeah, basic rules, you know, don't grief, don't steal, don't hack, don't cheat, don't duplicate items. That's <laughs> pretty much all I ask, you know, in other words, don't, you know, just don't be like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> be friendly. You could probably wrap all those rules up and just simply be friendly. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, you have your own server too? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been running this server since uh, 2018. So, it, it's been a journey. Tell you what, there has in the 1.20.70 update, there has been quite a few bug fixes on the server side of things, and the server has been a lot less laggy. And I think that boils down to is that there was some bug where there was chunks in the end that were permanently loaded. But that appears to have been fixed, and the server is not lagging anymore. I mean. Granted, there are only four people online right now, but earlier today there was like 11 people online, or 10 people online, server wasn't lagging at all, so... Yeah, pretty good. They're just... Oh, you subbed? Thank you. <laughs> oh. said um if you guys submit your gamer tags to the server um i'll add you at the end of the stream you know it's kind of hard to pull up my uh server console when i'm on stream so just so you know if i don't get to you right away that's why oh yeah there's a lot of stuff at spawn. This is probably one of the most active seasons of Stormy Land that I bet there has ever been. <laughs> I mean, so far this season has actually gone a lot, lot longer of a ways than the last season did, and we're only two months into this season, so. And yeah, I could I could see this season lasting, you know, at least another year. I mean, season six. Season six lasted 18 months, so I could see this season lasting about that, if not longer. Yeah, hopefully it does stay active. It's usually, I mean, kind of a thing was like once you start getting like fully established and you have like a lot of players and like everything's building all these mega bases that are like nearing completion then the server tends to die off a little bit but yeah yeah let's beat season six i mean that's the ultimate goal um we'll see see if we can go over 18 months if we can hit 20 the 20 month if we can hit 20 months that would be awesome I mean, 
the thing is, those are like a, it t just tends to be a trend where like a lot of, a lot of SMPs tend to just die off after a year or even a few months. But uh, this one, this one hasn't. I mean, it's had its ups and downs. I mean, it's we've had times where uh, the server would go like a couple of weeks where nobody would join. But then you know, once I start a new season or whatever, then everybody comes back. So I mean, yeah, it, it's had its ups and downs. Don't get me wrong, but the reason why I want to, or probably one of the reasons why I want to keep this server running for as long as I can is mainly for the nostalgia aspect of it, because I know a lot of people, a lot of people have been playing on here for quite a while, and, uh, and I have players that will message me from, like, you know, somebody that I haven't seen in like years, you know, like four or five years, think. And they're like, oh, remember that server called Stormyland Survival? And I'm like, yeah, it, I'm, I'm, I'm still running it too. And they're like, oh, really? I'm gonna join. <laughs> yeah. It's just like the nostalgia as aspect of the server is like, yeah. Kind of one of the motivators of why I want to keep it running for as long as possible. Which... Up to me, it'd probably be forever. I'd probably be 50 years old and this server will still be a thing. Because, um... If Minecraft is still a thing, which, well, I don't see Minecraft going anywhere anytime soon. It's gonna be a classic. Minecraft is gonna be one of those games that are, you know, not gonna go away. It's gonna be like... A game like Pac-Man, you know. Yeah, because Minecraft is kind of a game that's like the first of its kind, so... It's not going away anytime soon. I mean, will it stop receiving updates? Eh, maybe. But that, that doesn't mean that people are going to stop playing it. Would you mind if I recorded on the server? Oh yeah, that's totally fine. I mean, we have I have content creators on here too, so go ahead, record videos, do let's plays, whatever. I mean, it's kind of what it's for. It's, keep in mind though, it's like if you are playing on the server, you don't have to be a content creator. You can just play casually, or you can create content. It's kind of one of the unique things that I have about this server is that if you just want to play by yourself or play with friends, go ahead. If you want to make videos, go ahead. I mean... Almost got a full inventory of Dark Oak. Yeah. You know, obviously, you know... You don't, I, you shouldn't have to worry about, like, unless, like, you have, like, a secret base that, you, you know, you don't want people to find. You shouldn't have to worry about, like, you know, coordinates or anything like that, because nobody's gonna grief. <laughs> and, uh, if they do, they're gonna get banned, and a backup will be restored, so. <laughs> yeah, I take griefing very seriously. If somebody griefs my server, they're getting banned. <laughs> Yeah, we have we have quite a few moderators on here that um, keep track of that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> you do not have to worry about getting griefed, really. And if you do, a backup will be restored, or at least I'll roll back the chunk that was griefed so the whole server doesn't have to get rolled back. Yeah, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> that sums it up pretty good.
question is, is my inventory full? Almost. We're probably gonna need to get more dark oak eventually. Yeah. I'm just setting a point across the stream. Perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. I mean, the one thing that really gets to me is griefers. Like, I don't know why people find it entertaining to destroy other people's stuff. But <laughs> if you want to grief, go play on an anarchy server. <laughs> you know... I mean, yeah, if you do something stupid like duplicating items, I mean, you'll probably just get a warning and be told not to do it again, but if you just outright grief the entire server, yeah, you're gonna get banned pretty much right away. <laughs> and yeah, we'll figure out who did it too, because we have systems in place that will... I have something to tell you to see how you'd act. <laughs> if it actually happened. Oh, it's happened before. It's happened before. And when it does happen, I don't give the griefer any satisfaction. <laughs> I just ro I just roll back the server and ban the person and the only way they know they got banned is when they try to join and this going straight out that way. <laughs> yeah, that happened a couple weeks ago. Somebody blew up the shopping district. But guess what? I figured out who did it and banned them. <laughs> and it's not that hard to figure out who did it. We have tools. We have our ways. And I'll put it this way, it is easier to restore a backup than it is to grief. <laughs> so, just saying. Oh, you're calling him out, Thunder Sara. Yep, he's the one who griefed the shopping district. <laughs> three times a day so every eight hours the server restarts makes a backup so you know if somebody does grief <laughs> if somebody does grief I mean worst case you might lose a few hours of progress which I get it would probably suck but I do have tools that I could use to just roll back the chunk that was griefed so, I mean, is it that bad? Not really. <laughs> it's still, it's, it's easier to just roll back the server than it is to grief it. So, I mean, griefing is kind of counter, I don't even know what the word is, counterintuitive, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you say that word. <laughs> Yeah, we should be able to 
able to get this all the way and I should be clear of that guy's house. If not, I'm just gonna like zigzag it over a little bit, worst case. It's not that big of a deal, really. Oh, yep. Give you a chance to read that if there's an issue with the server and contact your admin or it's <laughs> no please message me and I'll take care of your issue the best of my ability. Yep. So yeah, Stone Lobster is our head admin basically, so any issues you can report it to either of us or any other admin that's online for that matter. Yeah, counterproductive. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. have to remove all these birch trees underneath the year too so yeah this railway is gonna be pretty close to that guy's base so I'm gonna probably zigzag it over and then go towards the mountain Place those there. Destroying the birch trees underneath of the railway here. There's a lot of birch trees in here. I'm just glad that the birch trees don't generate as those big giant oak trees that are like super big and you get and it's like super hard to get all the wood out of them. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. I think I got them all right there. We're gonna be zigzagging that way anyway, so we're gonna build it out this far to start out with. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, sleep real quick. Let's 
start out right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like, yeah, every five, I space these like five blocks apart. And then it's like there's five between. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. I had it. I was working on this one time and I missed counted once and the whole thing was off but I just left it because I didn't want to uh, otherwise I would have had to tear the whole thing down. I was super disappointed. Two, three, four, five. And on the sixth we do that. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth we do right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. The decorations in this season is amazing. Oh yeah, they are. Two, three, four, five, six, right around here. One, two, three, four, five, six is right here. Also, when you're playing on the server, everything that you see on here was done in survival mode. And uh, to prove that to you, we can earn achievements on here. So, three, four, five. Yeah, if you want to play in an SMP where you can tr uh, earn Xbox Live achievements, this is the one. Two, three. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. There we go. All right, now time for the posts. right here. Uh, we can put one right there. And right there. This is not as high, so it's actually somewhat easier to build since it's not as high. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, around there. I think that's right. Sometimes I could just, there we go. Hey, it works. One, two, three, four, five, right there. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, right here. That's working pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the drugs on stream, I mean. They're not real drugs, they're just Minecraft stuff, so whatever. <laughs> I mean, I prefer them not to be typing the actual names of drugs while I'm streaming, but I mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Once we get these posts done, <laughs> okay, that I'm fine with. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's actually funny. Do I need more copper? Um, I probably will in a little bit, but I'm gonna build the rail itself for. over here so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult but we can do it let's do that one two three four five right here one two three four I think it's right around here there we go and yeah it's out of the way <laughs> I'm normally an animal lover, but when a sheep stands where you're trying to place a block, it's annoying. I think we all feel the same way. Here we go. There's a block up there yet I gotta grab. Well, now time for the difficult part. 
the diagonal. Well, the plan is, is I'm going to just... Scaffolding. I am just going to need to... I'm going to look at the... I'm going to reference this. So we got... Basically, we just start from here. Just go boom, 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 boom. I guess. So yeah, we'll just start like that. We'll start out this little nub right here. Go bump, 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 all the way. Diagonal little ways. Just because I, I don't want to, I don't want to impede on that guy's base. I mean, I don't think anybody's been living there for a while, but still, it's just common courtesy on an SMP to just not build too close to somebody else's build. I'm gonna go sleep in a bed real quick. Well, we've already been streaming for an hour. That went by pretty quick. And it's still light outside. The days are getting longer. Finally, I felt like winter lasted forever. I mean, we didn't have much of a winter. I mean, we had some big storms, but we didn't get a lot of snow this winter, so. Ooh. Hopefully, I got enough rockets. Uh, still waiting on um, Khan to restock his rocket shop. So we'll just bring this right across the river, and then we'll straighten it out again. Oh yeah. I'm good for rockets right now. I got just about two stacks, but if I need more, I'll let you know. It's too complicated. Oh yeah, which reminds me, I, I set up a merch store for Stormyland Survival, so I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description at the end of the stream. I, I forgot to put that in there, but if you wanted to, you could join the Discord. Then the, the merch is right there in the Discord. You can buy buy some merch. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's uh, it's stuff is like related to the server. You got like a quotes that people said or like you know maybe like just basic like a uh, logos for the server um pictures of uh, season six stuff like that coffee mugs shirts sweatshirts mouse pads baseball caps pillows stuff like that Dun 
Yep, I know every type of stone but redstone. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, I think right here is probably a good point to like start straightening it out. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's just four across. One, two, three, four is three are all right here. So we don't need this part. We'll just do that. This. <laughs> oh, never mind. That that doesn't work. One, two, three, four. hour and eight minutes we've been streaming. Now, hopefully we can get this section of the rail done before the end of the stream. Not sure if I'm gonna get started on the hotel or not. Probably not. This this actual this section of rail is actually taking pretty long to build, so we'll see. some tree removal. Gotta do a little deforestation. nice thing about this seed is that we have access to every type of wood. Even jungle. There is a jungle biome nearby, which is really nice. Floating trees are the bane of my existence. <laughs>
Yeah. That's another merch thing. There's a t-shirt that says floating trees, the bane of my existence. <laughs> Funniest, <laughs> I think it's, it, there's some funny ones in there. You'll have to check it out. <laughs> All right. One problem is that that tree is touching the wood so it's not decaying properly. get some new armor, but I am going to need to enchant it with Feather Falling. So, that might be on the game plan of things to do eventually. Maybe tonight, maybe not, not sure. I'll probably do it off camera, to be honest. Because, <laughs> yeah. Definitely need fe feather falling. <laughs> Definitely gonna need feather falling. It's turning nighttime again. I'm gonna go to sleep. Unless somebody beats me to it, but I'm just gonna start heading towards the bed that I'm sleeping in, which is the one on top of the mountain over here. Chihuahua is too small to jump up on the bed, so I gotta pick him up and put him up there. <laughs> close. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, I built it off a block. That's disappointing. <laughs> That is extremely disappointing. Just grab these blocks floating around in here. Yeah, over this way. This one's over water. We're good here. There we go. And right here. Uh, I think that's water. They don't do anything on this server because, well, if a creeper blows up someone's build, then somebody thinks someone griefed. So, yeah. This one is not over water, so I'm going to take a little bit of damage there. And right here. be a little careful. There we go. I don't do these last two here. I'm going to have to regenerate a little bit. And I'll just build that straight out, out to the mountain there. Uh, remove all the trees and then work on the posts. Might have to take another trip to the dark. Well, we are gonna have to take another trip to the dark oak biome. This is there's no way this is gonna be enough dark oak. It's gonna be close. I mean, actually, not really. We're we're gonna need more dark oak. It probably won't even be able to reach all the way over there. So, <laughs> yeah. Taking some damage, that's for sure. Now the right boots with protection four, but no feather falling. Alright, so now from here, just gonna build straight out that way. I might need to remove those trees first, but we'll see how far we can get. remove these trees, shall we? Like, I'd like to get the uh, actual rail above built before I remove the trees, because then I actually know where to remove the trees. But sometimes the trees get in the way of even that part of the rail that's the highest, so then I gotta remove the trees first. And, which in this case, what we have to do Uh, 
this way. Oh, looks like somebody's coming to help. Maybe. Alright. Oh yeah. Now we might be able to build this for a little ways. I think there might be a couple spruce trees up there that might have to go, but... That should be pretty good to go. The leaves should decay on their own as long as it's not touching another tree or any more wood. My base has been with... messed with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. heck is this? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yep. Good old stream prank. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I didn't know if it was like some kind of graph or uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it was measuring the performance of the server. A couple weeks ago it was uh... really good and now uh, this week it's like uh... Now, next week, it's probably going to be up again since the Windows bug is fixed. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> yeah, names are hard to do, unfortunately. But yeah. I feel like go through the clock tower. Oh, yeah, we did it. I've been practicing with the Elytra. <laughs> far we can build this. I just want to get it to the mountain. I'm probably not going to dig through the mountain yet. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I struggle with letters in general with Minecraft just because, uh, yeah, it's a little tough sometimes. Yeah. Letters are hard to do. You know, I've done them. It's not easy. I feel like you have to like use like slabs and stairs and stuff, but I'll bring this all the way over. I don't even know if this is going to be enough dark oak to just build the two lines going all the way to the mountain. I mean, I had a full inventory of it, but I mean... Yeah. 
Uh, and now we hit the spruce trees that are in the way. And there's a couple birch trees in the way here too. All right, we're gonna go sleep real quick. Unless somebody beats me to it, but I mean, you never know. Short dark oak too. Might have to go to the forest and get some more in a little bit. Here we go. Now, time to do a little bit of tree removal. <laughs> J-I-A-L. That's another one. It's an acronym. It uh, stands for Go Jump in a Lake or something like that. Jump in a Lake. J-I-A-L. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. He's like, whenever I ban somebody, I'm just like, J-I-A-L, and they don't know what the heck it means, and I later tell them, like, go jump in a lake. <laughs> but yeah, when people grief the server, yeah, they should go jump in a lake, like, seriously. <laughs> don't grief. <laughs> you can't stand griefers, man. Oof. Everybody says skill issue, like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're the skill issue. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, mm, I don't know, I'll just stay out of it. <laughs> Pretty much all the deforestation. Well, then we gotta do some more deforestation for some more dark oak. <laughs> so. 
so I'm just gonna drop all this birch wood off at my base. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use up what I got. We'll see what we got here. some dark oak trees right next to the railway too so that actually helps out quite a bit and uh they're actually helping me quite a bit too removing all the trees for me i appreciate that <laughs> Here, I'm gonna just take this. <laughs> this I could use for the railway. I'm gonna have to take this spruce too, otherwise, I won't decay properly. There we go. You got 40. That might actually be enough to reach all the way over there. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Gotta be close. Oh, so close. One thing though, this waterfall might have to go. It's gonna be in the way. wood in my base and I'm gonna go do a little bit more deforestation to the dark oak biome. <laughs> Thank you. 
doing a little bit of deforestation. Here we go. You start filling the copper? Sure, that would help a lot. some deforestation. <coughs> Allergies are acting up. Snow is melting. And the grass is actually starting to grow a little bit. <laughs> Allergies are coming out. Springtime. Might be kind of difficult to see me mining this when it's nighttime, so I'm gonna sleep in the bed again real quick. so much stuff going on in the chat right now I'm like <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting a little overstimulated by all this stuff <laughs> The, the stream delay, I tell ya. You good? You good? I'm guessing my sister just got home because my dog is barking like crazy again. <laughs> yeah, now he just meowed like a cat. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not, but... He does that sometimes. stuck in the... How did that even spawn there? That's weird. You good? Here. You wanna go back up there? Why do you keep jumping down then? Hey. Oh, now you're hiding. Okay.
Well, we definitely have more than enough dark oak from the dark oak biomes, that's for sure. Gonna need quite a bit, though, to finish up the, um... Welcome back. I said I was going to do my stream last week, too. But, you know, the Windows bug. I couldn't update Minecraft on my computer. So, that bug just got fixed yesterday. I mean, I did use a unapproved Microsoft way, like a Microsoft not approved way of updating my game, and it actually worked. So, I mean, whatever. I should have just did that in the first place. But, uh... Yeah, I decided to wait because maybe it would be fixed like a couple days, but no, it took a whole, it took over a week for them to fix that. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Here we go. Yeah, just considering that the Minecraft server auto automatically updates, so basically when an update is out, if the server restarts, it says, oh, there's an update available, and then it updates the server, so... It is a double-edged sword, but I mean, I think the pros outweigh the cons. Automatic updates is actually pretty nice, that I don't have to, like, update the server whenever an update comes out. <laughs> I did not think that it would take them a week to fix that, though. It's kind of ridiculous. And quite a bit of dark oak. Heck.
I think we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna need a lot of dark oak. A lot more, I should say. Saying every time something goes wrong, he's like, skill issue. Bunch of wood here. Looks like we got quite a bit here. Grab some more.
Yeah, name of the game, deforestation. <laughs> we need the dark oak. There we go. Uh, I mean, might need more, but for now, we'll see how far we get. We got all the posts to do here. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the tunnel today, though. Copper's going to come along pretty nice. Three, four, five, six. And we'll just kind of bring this all away. One, two, three, four, five. Then on the six, we place one. Let's do this. All the way. Two, three, four, five. Then on the six, we place here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. Two, three, four, five, six. Right, Oop, right there. Almost miscounted that, and the whole darn thing would have been off. That would have sucked. Yeah, I agree. No more skill issues starting now. Two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. No more skill. Or I'll say a S dot I dot.
One, two, three, four, five. That is perfect. Usually never goes like that. <laughs> yeah, nice job with the copper. Looking good. Two, three, four, five. Okay, yep, the zombies are coming out. We're gonna have to go to sleep real quick. I think I know a stack of rockets. Definitely should be enough to last through the rest of the stream.
this is looking pretty nice. There's a zombie down there. I don't think he can get to me here, but I'm going to. Here we go. Six. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there and right there. Oh yeah. This is coming together pretty nice. It's a little difficult to. Here we go. This is the part that uses up the most wood. quicker. Good night. One, two, one, two, three, four, five.
one, two, three, four, five, right here. Yeah. So yeah, either, I'm, I'm thinking this, either once we run out of wood or we reach the end, it'll probably mark the end of the stream for the night. Because yeah, we went streaming for over two hours, so yeah, we'll finish this up, or at least use up all the wood that's in my inventory. Yeah, we got quite a bit of two, three, four, five. We got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of progress on the day, actually. This railway is a big project. Don't get me wrong. Eventually, I do want to connect it to the stronghold, because, well, why not? It'd be cool. I mean, pointless, but cool. That's the point of it, is that it's cool. Finishing up the copper, that really helps out a lot. If I had to place all that myself on stream, I probably wouldn't get it all done tonight. Either that or I'd be streaming for five hours, so... <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that. That really helps, helps out. Four or five. That's the one thing I... One of the things I really like about the server is the people that play on it are very helpful. Two, three, four, five. Here we go. Yeah, 
we might actually have enough dark oak to finish the entire railway. Or at least get it all the way to the mountain. I think we'll have more than enough. This is perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, now, now we're entering cave territory, so... <laughs> Uh, we'll have to figure out something with this. Big giant cave underneath here. I mean, like, right here we could do this. That's not a problem. And right around here. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll just take it all the way down. What the heck? We got more than enough dark oak. There is that spruce tree down here that I didn't realize was down here. We're gonna have to... Yeah, we're definitely gonna have more than enough spruce. Definitely have enough dark oak, that's for sure. Alright. Now at this point we can just... And 
last block. There we go. I'm gonna sleep real quick because of course I finish it during nighttime and it's not gonna look as good at night, so. this looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah. That looks cool. Well, I got what I wanted to get done on stream tonight. Only took uh, two hours and 20 minutes. Well, I think that's gonna do it for tonight's stream. If you guys enjoyed it and you want me to stream again, I will. And um... Yeah, if you guys want to, any of you are playing on here or watching a stream that want to join the server, uh, the Discord is in the description. So yeah, hope you guys have a good night, good rest of your day. Peace out. <laughs>